Hi Aquarius, welcome to your monthly messages from Spirit Reading for March 2021. This is your Girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. My intentions for this reading is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you at this time. Anything that you need to be aware of, anything that you should look forward to celebrating or maybe even keep an eye out for. This is a general reading, so not every message in this reading may be for you and that's okay. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. I welcome any beings of the light at this time to come forward for you, Aquarius. And if you have any in particular that you'd like to invite, any particular angels, spirit guides, ancestors, even pass down loved ones, I welcome you to do so. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, rising, north node, and or any other strong placement in the sign of Aquarius. If this reading is not for you, Aquarius, I suggest checking out your other signs in different placements. Finally, before I get into the reading, I do want to quickly remind everyone of my monthly giveaway that I do. It's a contest I hold where I give away one free 30-minute reading to a lucky subscriber. So if you're interested in entering your chance to win for the month of March, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there. All right, Aquarius, let's get started. All right, Aquarius, let's get started. What does Aquarius need to know right now, Spirit? Or what would you like to talk to Aquarius about at the sun? What does Aquarius need to know? Opportunity to forgive. Okay, Aquarius, I think, hmm, was it Cancer that had this? Or maybe Virgo, I'm not, no, it wasn't Virgo, but anyway. Opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to the higher place of peace and compassion. Okay, this is about relationships, Aquarius, coming through very clearly. Whether this is a relationship with a family member, a friend, or a romantic partner. I feel, Aquarius, that someone recognizes the wrong that they have done to you. Someone recognizes the stress they may have given to you. And they may realize that there is some unfairness going on in the relationship between the two of you. And I do feel for some of you, there may be an opportunity where someone does apologize to you for this. But Aquarius... Others of you, I kind of feel that you are in a different mindset from when you first had this disagreement or dispute with this person. I feel that, you know, you had to set a boundary in a particular relationship. And in doing so, you kind of continued to grow and thrive. And Aquarius, what was, you know, I'm hearing like bygones be bygones. Of course, this isn't anything related to someone who's abused you. I feel the need to put that disclaimer in there because some people like to assume. Um, no, that's not the type of relationship I'm picking up here. It's just a relationship where things weren't all peachy and that's okay. I feel that there's an opportunity in March, Aquarius, whether this is a reconciliation of some sorts or an opportunity to just heal some sort of relationship that you've been wanting to heal for a while or that they've been wanting to heal with you someone misses you in their life you miss someone in their being in your life and i feel you guys are going to mend and heal something very special between the two of you your great friend is what i'm hearing um someone may be saying that to you very soon but aquarius i'm seeing the nine of pentacles in my mind's eye 
So some of you could have Virgo in your chart. Maybe that's why I mentioned Virgo earlier, or you could be dealing with a Virgo or connected to a Virgo in some way. But, you know, Aquarius, you, whether you're feeling this way now or you soon will, you're doing just fine. You're independent. You are kind. You are happy and feeling happy with your life. There may have been some sort of change that happened in the beginning of 2021 that was a bit difficult, but you're feeling very stable now throughout that change. And maybe that had to do with some sort of argument with people that didn't see you for who you are, didn't accept you for who you are, but now they do and someone just needs to know that. Um, I'm also picking up on an Aquarius right now that is a single parent in some way, um, or that you've been a single parent for a while, and someone's going to, not that you've ever needed it per se, but someone's really going to say, damn Aquarius, you did a damn good job at raising your children by yourself. Um, and others of you, it's just people recognizing for all that you've been through and you're still standing, you're still strong, you're still fighting every day. And not fighting, you know, trying to spread anger or resentment, but fighting and saying, I'm going to keep my light with me and I'm going to use it to guide me through ever what darkness I get go through. And Aquarius, yeah, there's someone that wants your forgiveness. Whether you accept them back in your life or not, I do feel that there's an importance to clearing energies that are within you that don't need to hold space in there much longer. Wow, okay, let's go ahead and continue. Let's see what else there is. What does Aquarius need to know for March? And maybe Aquarius, there's something you've been putting a lot of time and effort into helping someone with, um, helping them through a really hard time that you never got the appreciation for maybe because they were in a stressful mindset, maybe because they weren't in the mindset to, I don't know, just be open to receiving your help, but you're going to get a thank you, I feel, too, very soon. That's for some of you. Or you deserve one, absolutely. <laughs> what does Aquarius need to know right now, Spirit? Power of angels. May your angels protect you, guide you, and keep you safe. Wow, Aquarius. So you have a team of angels around you. You're very connected to the angels, um, archangels, even pass down loved ones. But you know, Aquarius, I feel that your angels have also been protecting you from people that wouldn't have served you. So what I mean from that is that, you know, you wonder why you had falling outs. You wonder why people just kind of faded from your life. You wondered why, you know, certain relationships just didn't proceed forward. And it's because, you know, not, unfortunately, not every relationship we have in our lives are meant to see through to the end of time. Sometimes these relationships that occur in our life are meant to teach us something about ourselves or to further us down our path of divine evolution. And for some of you, this is a clear sign to me that your angels were protecting you from people who were just going to tear you down, from people who were just going to make you feel bad about yourself. And that's why those relationships kind of fell away. They just weren't in the same vibration as you were, Aquarius. And it had nothing to do with who you are it had to do with just not being compatible or even, you know, some of you that were really good friends or had a really um, strong connection with someone and then it just fell apart. It's because it served that purpose, whatever that purpose was to evol evolve you in some way. And that's, that's why, you know, things became stagnant for some, right? But Aquarius... A lot of you need to know that you are very, very protected. You are very, very loved. 
and you are guided each step of your way. Um, you've had a guardian angel since you were a child. And then, you know, the guardian angel just called their other pals to come forward for you as well to assist you, to help you see the light when there is only dark. Aquarius, I feel that a lot of you too, again, with the choices you had to make at the time you had to make them, some of them weren't easy. Some of them were very difficult, but it's helped you become the person you are today. And you made those decisions because deep down in your gut and through the intuitive messages you were receiving from your angels, you knew it was the right decision to make. And some people maybe were angry at you for making those decisions. Some people didn't understand why you made those decisions. But it didn't really, their opinions didn't really matter, Aquarius. And I think a lot of them are realizing that the reaction they had towards you in making those decisions when were wrong. And again, it could be vice versa. Maybe some of you are feeling this way towards someone else. But Aquarius, I, I feel there's going to be a lot of healing in your relationships or a lot of healing and understanding why things happened the way they did with certain people in your life. And ultimately, forgiving it so you can move on and continue to thrive and prosper without that relationship or situation anchoring you down. All right, let's keep going. What does Aquarius need to know right now, Spirit? What does Aquarius need to know right now? Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there will always be hope. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just talking about. Yeah, this is like, some of you could have a lot of Aquarius in your chart, not just your sun sign or whatever. Um, I'm seeing like the star card and that is this, the card that represents Aquarius. But yeah, this is exactly what I mean, Aquarius. Um, you know, your spiritual team, sorry, I kind of moved the camera. Okay, anyway, um, your spiritual team has been the one to lift you up when you have been at your lowest, when you just couldn't see a reason why you were left in the dark like this, why people betrayed you, why people misunderstood you. Why, you know, even for some, it was not even like an argument or a conversation. You just felt like they left you in the dust in some way with no explanation, with no closure. And Aquarius, through those times, you've always regained that light. You're still here today. You're still that loving person you always are. Whether people accept you for it or not, you've never changed yourself because you always had hope in yourself and you always had hope for something better to come, even when things were, lack for a better word, shitty, crappy. Your spiritual team, your angels were always the one to reignite that light within you and to show you that light within you. But more importantly, people are seeing that light where they didn't before. And you've been on people's minds a lot, especially the people who didn't treat you so fairly, Aquarius. And you've been feeling their energy. You know who this is. Maybe even for you, it's a couple of people. And you feel their energy so strongly right now is because they think of you a lot. But with this hope card, ultimately, Aquarius, if some of you just need to hear, please don't give up hope. You're going to recover. You're going to make out of this. And you are loved. Know that. I don't know who needs to hear that right now. But a lot of you are seeing what that hope that you had to regather within yourself for when things were dark, you're going to see how much that will repay you in the month of March. 
we're at this time. Wow, okay, let's get the tarot. Or the tarot, however people like to pronounce it. Um, what does Aquarius need to know for March? What does Aquarius need to know for March? <clears throat> okay. So we have the Queen of Fire, Aries energy. Some of you could have Aries in your chart. Confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Yeah, Aquarius, you have become the queen of fire. Regardless if you have fire in your chart, you are just someone who has developed this knowing within yourself, this confidence within yourself, and this acceptance within yourself. And what that has done is made you glow. It's made you shine. And you're a hard person to ignore when you walk in the room and it doesn't necessarily mean it's because you're absolutely physically banging, which could be a truth for some of you, but it's because the energy you're in, the vibrance that you're carrying within you is working without and people are, again, seeing you in your power. You're taking, oh, you're taking back what you've lost, specifically in relationships. And if someone's taken you know, your sense of security within yourself, your sense of confidence within yourself, with your sense of empowerment, someone tried to make you feel, you know, less than, you're taking that back. And you're not doing it in a vengeful, bitter way. You're doing it in a very inspiring, passionate, graceful way. And that's why people are starting to regret you know, the choices they made in regards to you and maybe how they treated you. Let's keep going. You're on fire, Aquarius, is what I'm hearing. Spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. And if you're not there yet, you will get there by the end of March. What does Aquarius need to know right now? The death card, Scorpio energy, release. The end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. That's the decision I was talking about that you guys made. And once you made that decision, whether it was just a few weeks ago, a few months ago, or even a year ago, it's been transforming you up until this point right now where you're at your peak. You're at this phase where now you're understanding. You Now you're seeing why you had to let go, why you had to release, why you had to set boundaries, why you needed to change in some way, whether that was in your physical world or somewhere within you that you were recognizing things and situations that maybe were contributing to certain relationships that you didn't want to carry further. But Aquarius, there's, with every ending, there's a new beginning. And whatever had to end brought in something newer and better for you. And through this transition, you know, again, as dark as it was for some of you, you were being guided the whole time through it. Even in times of confusion, even in times of despair, your angels were by your side and still are. If some of you are still going through a major transformation, a major change within your life, you're being guided. You are being looked after and you are being protected, Aquarius. Keep going, one more card. What does Aquarius need to know? I know, Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know right now? Okay, the Empress, beautiful. Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel came through for Capricorn's reading, so some of you could have Capricorn in your chart. Um, lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others under hope. Yeah, Aquarius, you're not meant to be a bitter person. You're not meant to be a hateful person, an angry person. Even through the stuff you've been through, man, not a lot of people have been through. But with this death card and the empress, it's like you've transmuted this energy of darkness into a light that so many people are not able to do. You are a light in this world. 
And it's only the people who bring that light into the world are the only ones that have made it through hell, have made it through darkness, have made it through despair. And at the bottom of the deck, we have judgment. Archangel Jeremiah, and I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Yeah, three angels coming through and then the power of angels. You have an army of angels at your side, Aquarius, helping you through this transition, helping you through this transformation, and helping you bring the hope that you need or that you already have in seeing how much that is serving you. That hope is what's bringing in this abundance, this prosperity, these dreams come true, these manifestations. And I can see why people are wanting to reach out to you, Aquarius. I can see why people want to apologize to you for what they said or what they did. They see you and respect you as this person to be respected, this person to be appreciated, this person who has worked so hard to get to where they are. You should be proud of yourself, Aquarius, for making through whatever it was, that dark phase in your life, the dark night of the soul. Your angels are, and so should you. And never doubt your connection to the spiritual realm, to your higher self, to your guides. You're coming into this beautiful new chapter in your life where through this change, through this transition you had to go through, you're starting to receive the abundance and give that to others that need it as well. And not to overgive. That's a beautiful lesson that some of you are learning. But, you know, the Empress doesn't overgive to anyone. The Empress gives loving, compassionate, kindness, and care unconditionally, but that doesn't mean without no limit. And maybe, Aquarius, there is someone's apology you will accept, right? But it's because you, you're you not in a vibration to reject an intention that means well. And you guys can decipher that too. And maybe what the angels protected you from relationships previously, they're bringing back into your life so you can heal this within you. And so it could be, you know resolved within your life so you can continue to prosper, so you can continue to thrive. Beautiful reading, Aquarius. So to wrap this up, I'm going to have you ask a question to the angels, to your spirit guides, whatever question you like to ask, whether it pertains to this reading or something I didn't touch up on in this reading. I invite you to ask now, and just a quick disclaimer, it may not be such a direct answer to your question, but I invite you to use your intuition to see why that card came up for you and what that means for you specifically, even if it's not so direct. So ask your question now. And let's see what your answer is. Wow, forgiveness. And that looks like Kuan Yin to me. I don't know if you guys are aware of Kuan Yin, but she's a goddess of compassion, of kindness. But yeah, Aquarius, I feel there's a lot of forgiveness happening in your life. Forgiveness for yourself, forgiveness for others. And it's a part of this death card that is this transition of just releasing and again forgiveness doesn't mean you have to accept people back into your life it doesn't mean you have to accept people's behaviors it just means that you're willing to understand that some people just don't have the right tools in their toolbox some people are just not in a high vibration and that's okay we all go through life on different paths different processes and you don't have to hold on to the burden of feeling that there was something you could have done to fix the situation or something that you should have done in the past to, to change it all or something along those lines for some of you. But really, ultimately, Aquarius, I feel people just want your forgiveness. People just want 
to say they're sorry and people want to say their thank you to you because of who you are, because of what you've evolved to and how you are a light in people's eyes, whether you realize that or not. So this is a beautiful reading in Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope that this resonated with you in some way. If it did, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aquarius, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Aquarius.